how to hang with jeans shorter. So here, for example, I've got a pair of jeans, and I want to make the sleeves shorter. So there's two ways to do it. One way, if we do it for a child, and we expect the child to grow up, so what we do, we don't want to cut it shorter, because then the child will grow up and won't be able to give him the jeans again, or hair. So what we do, we fold it. Let's say I want to cut off like a 10 centimeters shorter. So what I have to do, I fold it. Half of the size I want to make it shorter. I don't count from here to here. This part I don't count, only from here to here, the wrong side. I, don't, I count only the wrong side, but from here, from the stitches, all the way to the top. I count five centimeters. Half of it, here, I go here like four and a half, little, make it a little more. So we get here five centimeters. Here, uh, yeah. Now I've got pretty much five centimeters. The reason why I do only half, because when I fold it two, here I've got five, on the other side I've got another five. So it adds up to 10 centimeters. And I sew it all around here, I'm going to show right now how we do that. And then the all inside, I'm going to, after I sew it, I fold to the inside, it will look like that in the end, it will look like that. I'm going to sew it all to the inside, and then when the child grows up, I can make it longer again. I take out the stitches and make it longer again like that. And of course, when I make the stitches, I need to make them very weak stitches, not strong stitches. And the other example I'm going to show you is what you do it for an adult. For example, if I want to take off 10 centimeters shorter, I count 3 centimeters less than what I want to cut off because after I cut it off, I need to fold it twice to the inside. Like that, I'm going to fold once and twice to the inside. I'm going to fold it. So it looks a nice stitch. So I cut off seven centimeters, not ten, because I'm going to fold another one and a half centimeters again to fold another one and a half centimeters. So let's go forward and see how exactly I'm going to do it. Now that I have it all adjusted, I said I fold five centimeters, so it'll be cent centimeters total. And like I said, this part I do not count because we're going to see this part, only the hidden part I'm going to count. 5 centimeters. Now we have it already. Uh, while I'm sewing, I don't want to go forward or backward or to become like 8 centimeters or 12 centimeters. I need to somewhat to put it all together. So there's three methods. One, I'm using a chalk to mark here. So I see where I'm sewing, so then run away. Uh, so soap is the best way to mark. There are, uh, Marking chalks, but those chalks are very fragile, they break very easily, they just fall a little bit, they break. So the soap is the best to mark your fabric. So I can do up here a uh, little mark. I uh, don't see it very well, but the other method, I'm using pins. Now the best is to use pins with heads, because the head, when there's the, the head, uh, you don't forget the pin in the cloth. Because if you use pin before the head, it's easy not to see the pins and forget it's the cloth, it can cause injury. So I use this uh, pins with head, so I'm going to put the pins, and while I'm sewing, I'm going to remove those pins. So it just hold the fabric in place. In denim, it's less important to put pins. Sometimes with denim, I don't, I don't put any pins or anything because I, it's stable. But if you use other cotton fabrics, the stretch fabrics, that well, well, so it's really moving away from you, you might want to use the pins. Uh, another method, uh, instead of you don't want to use the pins and you want to be stay with our pins, uh, what I'm going to do the other side, I'm going to use the other method, is to use an ironer. Here, an ironer. So when you have it already, if I don't put the pins, I put it down and use the, ouch, I use the ironer on top to make it straight. So I'm going to sew this part with the pins, and you're going to see I'm doing it, how we move the pins, and how we fold it to the inside. Okay, so here's the menu on the screen, it's a touch screen. Uh, so we're going to use a regular thread. Now, since we're going to open it in like a few years, or a year or so, when the child grows up, uh, I don't want to be too tense, so I'm going to release the tension on the uh, thread. Uh, let's go it down to even two, whatever, so it'd be easier to open, or even one. 
Just go almost to the minimum. Let's do it in one. Uh, that the other one I can leave the same. Uh, that just left and right. It's, it's, a, it's a straight stretch. I don't need to play the left and right uh, options. And this is the length between the stitches. Now, since we're going to open it after a while, so we can make it uh, longer. Uh, three, you see, we get longer even uh, at five. So there'll be longer stitches and not strong so it'd be easier for me in the future to open those stitches so here we've got now the jeans I'm going to put it in here slide it do from the other side so I don't cover the camera okay we've got the thread and you know, so I see it, it's moving freely so that it gets stuck and the bobbin we have here thread. I'm going to wear that like a glove or a sock you want to put it in I'm starting here, okay, and now I'm starting the sewing process. Let's move the in diagonal the sewing machine, so it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, on the floor I've got the presser foot. When I push it, it will sew. Or in these machines, I can push the triangle, like the play button. But I rather use the foot so I can touch the touch the pants, the sleeve. So we measure it five centimeters. Now I need to be careful when use needles, it's very hard to pin, pin, pin yourself. So I have to be careful. Uh, okay, that one I can start moving already because I start taking it off. Now let's start. Okay. Now I move them, oops, I must punch myself. Move the needle. Important to count how many needles you use so you don't forget anyone inside. And of course, we've got the white head, so I can. It's easy to see. I put it aside away. I continue. I remove the other pin. And if the other pins on the way, you you need to take them off. And if I'm not using other pins, I'm afraid the pins will move. It's good once in a while to use your measuring tape. To see that you've got a five centimeters. Although you make it a little longer if you think you missed a little bit. I think I got it right. Now, here you see I've got this heel thing. Let's see if I. Yeah, we're in zoom. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's put it in zoom now. So you see it better. Uh, these heels, so you need to sew uh, slower. Because if you sew fast, well, you've got those heels. Or oh, we call it mountains or heel, whatever. Uh, then it will just break. So here I go slow. To go through, just press gently and the press your foot. Okay, now you can go faster. And you see, uh, I do right here between the the thick one and the thin one. Between the fabrics, I I sew between them. So they're going to fold it in the end. Let me make sure they're the same. Make sure with the five centimeters. If I didn't use pins, yeah, I've got five centimeters. Yeah, exactly. And I'm continuing. I guess I should have uh, put other pins or use an iron air. But here I still can't let I have this five centimeters from side to side. And I'm just move like that, make it a little longer if I don't have it right. I go slow again. And yeah, I got it. I go to the to the other side. Now I go the back button to go backward a little bit. Oh no, I didn't push it right. Okay, now it's going backward. And the scissor button. Makes the last stitch and get it up. I pull it up. I remove it. I take uh, sewing scissors to cut the leftovers. Yeah. Oh, I've got uh, like a cutting thing in here. So I put it over to cut it. Okay, I, I, I did fold it, as you can see. You see it's all folded. So loose wires, I can just cut like here. Now, what I do, this whole thing, this whole thing, I want to fold to the inside. So look what I do, look carefully, watch carefully. I'm folding it inside, like that. Okay, now it's, it's 10 centimeters shorter. And what you see here, uh, where my work now you see the thread because I didn't do a uh, strong I need weak so I can cut it in the future when the child will grow up and I want to move it out again 
So all the leftovers is into the inside. Now, uh, jeans, uh, or you call denim, usually it says inside, no problem, it doesn't fall out. But perhaps it's a different kind of fabric, it starts falling out, like that, doesn't look very nice, no problem. All you do, uh, I do some stitches here and here, so it doesn't fall out again. I, I'll show you how I do that. Now, this part I push to the back, so, that, so because if you're not careful, you, you sew it all together and everything is stuck. You cannot open, you cannot put the foot inside. I mean, you, you cannot wear it. It could be stuck as one piece. So when I make the stitches here, so all this, this part would not come, come out, I need to be careful not to sew the other side. So I, I fold the other side to my direction. I put it to the sewing machine and I sew it a few stitches, like that. Now here I don't need pin, don't iron, and no nothing. It just now when it's a child pants, it's hard because it is you don't have a lot of room to play with. But I'll try to do my best to make uh, some stitches. Or you, you can sew by hand. If, if it's very hard, it's very narrow, and it's hard to put it in the sewing machine. Just makes few stitches by hand. So let's try with the sewing machine. Oh, it's tricky, tricky. I'll do it the way that I can see it. Okay, I'll do it that way. So I can see it. I do it also from the inside so I see what I'm doing. So don't sew the other side. You see, I, I put it all inside. And I'll make some... Okay, uh, the backward button and the cutting button. Disable the backward button and I move it out. Cut the threads, those threads I'm cutting. Okay, good. Now you see what I did in the inside. You see a little stitches here on the outside. But now it doesn't move out. You see this side doesn't come out. The other side, when I did do the job, it comes out easily. So I can do it also in the other side if you want. Or the thing, maybe it's enough that it one side doesn't fall by itself. Here. Yeah. I got pretty accurate, 10 centimeters all over. You see how it's centimeters? So the sleeves I did, I have it 10 centimeters. If I, in the future, I give. I, I want to make it longer again. I just remove all the stitches I did here. What I show you. The best is to lay it on the table straight. You see if you got it uh, shorter the way you wanted. Now I'm going to show you how to do the other sleeve. So this sleeve, you see, I got it shorter, and you see the stitches around here, which look a little funny with this little fold because I want to make it longer. The other one will look nicer because the other one I'm going to show you, I'm going to just cut it shorter 7 centimeters. So fold twice to the inside to get it 10 centimeters shorter. So first of all, we need to mark 7 centimeters and cut them off. And when I fold twice to the inside, it's going to be shorter 10 centimeters. Okay, I flip my jeans over. Here you see the job I did before when I fold it inside so I can open the jeans and the stitches and make it longer again for a kid. And another example is when I do it for an adult, you know the adult is not growing, going to grow up anymore, so you're going to do this kind of side that you just cut it off and fold it because you know it's permanently, it's uh, permanent. So now I'm going to fold it twice. Each one it's going to be about one and a half centimeters like that. And to make sure it doesn't move, I'm either going to put a pins like that, or an ironer. So like that I'm going to put a pins. And I want to make sure it's one and a half centimeters, about. Uh, even a centimeter, you know what? Even a centimeter is okay, but in the fall, in the fall, it's going to steal you another centimeter, so it's a centimeter, a centimeter. In 12 fall, it can steal another centimeter, so I take into account that it's three centimeters. So we make it about a centimeter and I put the pins. Or oh, make an iron to make it hard. Now, last time we used pins, so let's try to use an iron this time. So I've got an iron connected to electricity, so it's wrapped and we need to be careful. 
and I've got the pants so I'll fold it inside you see about I guess it's about one centimeter I can check with my measuring with my ruler yeah it's one centimeter a little bit more but I'm not sure to leave extra three centimeters when I cut I got three centimeters less than what I need because I fold it twice once and again it's going to be about three centimeters see I fold it like that hold it together oops and I iron it be very careful it's extremely hot so you need to be extremely careful let's zoom in see what I'm doing exactly so while I'm sewing it's not going to go away from me it's not strong enough I can make my iron maybe a little warmer add some heat to it do it again leave for a few seconds I think it's okay now yeah if you look at the camera it's pretty stable now what I'm going to do is to sew around it from here and then I'll fold it inside so I fold into the wrong side and I'm going to sew on the right side so let's start sewing now I'm going to disconnect the iron it's dangerous to leave it in all the time disconnected but still very hot so I need to be careful So now that I fold it to the inside, um, I'm going to do another layer of stitching. Slide it in. There we go. I think I make sure that it's, I'm not sewing too much to the inside. I've got only one centimeter folded to the inside. I feel it in the other side. I lay it down. And I start stitching, get all the wires to the back. So I don't pull them by mistake. Actually, I put my fingers here so I don't block the camera. And I pull it a little bit and I start sewing. It's tricky to use a stretchy jeans. Whoops. Oh, you see, I forgot to. It was sewing backward, try to sew backward, I forgot to cancel it last time. So you need to remember when you do the backward, you need to cancel it in the end. It's right here. Yeah, okay, I think I got it right now. Make sure I don't sew too much. Yeah. I guess I'll do here fast forward. And when I've got this hill here, you see if it's higher, it's a double uh, stitch, I mean the double layer of cloth, I need to go slow, so I don't break the needle, very slow. Remember in jeans I use a needle number 100, a thick needle, because if you put a needle number 70 or 80, those will break easily, because denim is very uh, thick cloth, so you need a thick needle, size 100. Like I say, use this yellowish uh, thread, a uh, gold color, mustard color, whatever you call it. Okay, go slow. Here we can go a little faster. 
Okay, go to the end and click the back button to make an end stitch in the end. I cancel the back button, don't forget it, and then click the scissor button. Uh, up button and up button again. I take it out. I cut here the loose wires. I cut. I take my tiny scissors to cut some loose threads. Now you see from the inside I see the double S thread, but we don't see what's on the inside, we see on the outside. So I make sure all the mess was in the inside. And the outside you see one nice thread. You see the outside of the, the jeans. You see it's the thick here. It looks almost like the original. Now I'm going to show you both a set what I did. Here I did it for the adult one, I was cutting it shorter, the pants, let's zoom out. Uh, I was cutting it, uh, focus on the, now I'm focused on the jeans. I was cutting it shorter because I do it for an adult that I'm not expecting that adult to grow up. And here, when I did it for a child, I was folding it to the inside and sewing it. So you see the difference, what it looks like. Uh, for the child, you have the original thing here. And the wire is little, you see the wire because I can cut it in the future. I use this kind of tool. You see here that if I want to open it, I cut it like that. I put it into the wire, pull, and I cut those. I can show it because I'm going to destroy the jeans anyway to show you the lesson how to make a, a short out of a jeans. So I, I cut it straight if I want to make. You see, I cut them to make it longer again and then shortly different. You know what, well, let's cut them just to demonstrate for you. But uh, first of all, in general, that's what it looks like. I made the whole jeans shorter. You see the kinds? Now let's, if I cut it, you see, I open it again. I show to the camera. And you see, I can pull it all out and make them longer again. So I hope you like my video. Now you know how to make a to hem your jeans, whether it's for an adult or for a child, or expect the person to grow up again. Uh, so please give me the thumb up if you like my video and register for my channel. And watch my other tutorial about sewing. You give me a lot of likes and I'll upload more videos.